Right somewhere else. Maybe maybe just rook a8, knight a6, and then knight c5, just positionally. I mean, that's a lot of moves, though. That's three moves. He's going to be, yeah, okay, bishop c2. So I was thinking rook a8 to this. Rook a8, is there anything in knight b7? Well, no, he drops his rook. If he, well, no, he's attacking my queen, okay. Rook a8, knight b7, queen somewhere, queen e7. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook. Yeah, perhaps not. Okay, what about... What else have we got here? Rook a8, knight b7. Then I, c I could go queen b8. No, I couldn't, because he'll just take the rooks off and win the pawn on d6. Okay. If I play rook a8, is he just going to play e5? So, I mean, is there, has the time come now where I need to retreat that knight f6? If I went knight e8, and it seems a very negative move, and I'm losing pressure on d5. Is e5 really, really bad? Five takes, takes... Yeah, two central pass pawns doesn't look too good, so maybe I do need to go knight e8 now. Knight e8. E5 anyway. Well, no, he's not going to do that. His king's wide open, so he's not going to really want to open the centre up too much. Surely opening the centre would favour me. Especially if he loses a pawn to do it. So, knight e8. Knight e8, what's he going to do if he can't play e5? Could go bishop e3. Okay, I'm running out of time. I'm going to play knight e8, I think. Knight e8. Um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to play knight e8. The time has come. One thing with knight e8, at least d6 is further supported, so maybe I could be looking at rook a8 now, because then, you know, when the knight comes to b7, it's not hitting d d6, so it'd give the queen a few more squares to go to, maybe.
Okay, let's go Queen F3. Well, it's almost like he's playing for F5, but I, I've never th thought F5 would be particularly good for him because, you know, he's kind of taking all the pressure off E5, which is where he, I think his natural pawn break ought to be. Got the option of a cheap check here. <laughs> Bishop D4 check, but I think that's all it does, so. Um, so, Rook A8. If he goes knight b7, perhaps I could go queen c8. I mean, I could actually march the pawn all the way to b3 as well, but no, then that pawn on c4 would be weak, so I don't want to do that. Rook a8. I need to move fairly quickly now. So rook a8. I'm expecting knight b7 in reply, I'll be honest. And I think I'll go... Can I go queen c, c8? Yeah, it's taking the queen off that handy dark square di dark squares, but... I could just, yeah, uh, no, yeah, I could get the queen right out of there, but I don't really want to do that. I mean, you know, I could put it on h4, but I don't think it does very much on h4. So rook a8, knight b7, queen either c8 or b8 probably. Is there any value on playing Queen E7? Well, no, not really. I don't really want to be ca recapturing on A7, A8 with a knight if he exchanges off rooks. I'm going to play Rook A8. It's what I plan to play, and I need to be moving fairly quickly. Expecting knight b7, and I think I'm going to play queen c8. Yeah, okay. So queen queen c8, rook takes rook, queen takes rook. Queen C8. There's nothing in knight takes pawn anyway, is there? Knight takes knight. E5. You'd have some monster pass pawns actually if he did that. We'd probably look at this. Well, there's not much I can do about it anyway if it does. It's Queen C8. Knight takes D6. Gulp. Knight takes D6, E5. Knight back to E8. Oh, hang on. What about that rook on A8? Well, no, I don't, my other rooks would be connected if that happened. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to play rook c8 because I need to make a move. It's what I plan to play. Pray we can blockade if he takes on, the, on d6. I think we probably can. Surely we can. So we've been recording for, what, an hour and 15 minutes now? If you're still with us, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Wasn't it my plan for the day to, to do a chess video, I'll be honest. Especially not a two hour one. But it's good practice. Okay, obvious recapture. Ooh, he's gone for it, right. Well, we've got to take it, surely. Yeah, I did wonder about that. I mean, I wonder if there's anything in taking on C3 first, because that would make D5 um, weaker. Which would mean I could then capture that pawn. I would be giving away some horrible dark squares. Bishop takes c3 now. Well, no, because he just wins a pawn, doesn't he? He just takes on e8. Well, no, because I've got the in between check. This might, this might be the best line actually. So, bishop takes c3. Pawn or queen takes, and take here, and then if e5 I can capture here, on on e, on d5. Bishop, e4. Is there anything in that? Maybe. I'm gonna. I could. I could get checkmate on the dark squares, you know. But I will be like a piece up if it works. <laughs> 